Hey, this is Brooklyn Chef Danielle, and this is like a pre-episode to Talking With Your Mouthful. Um, I am in the process of shooting episodes, and it just, I had to address this whole Keith Lee controversy that's going around. It pertains to restaurants, and guess what? Restaurants serve food. I'm a chef, <laughs> so let's get into it. So where should I start with this Keith Lee controversy? I should have had this written down and I should have made like bullet points on certain um, points that I wanted to address. Here we go. First, let me start by saying I am a huge, huge, huge Keith Lee fan. Like I, um, when he came to New York, um, I wanted to get him to come to my restaurant. I DM'd him. I um, was commenting on his post. I really was trying to get my dude to come and give me, uh, give my business a boost, that the boost that it needed. And um, before I closed my restaurant, right? Because, yeah, I'm closed, but I am partnered with another business and I'm still doing what I love. So yeah, um, I was trying to get Keith Lee to come to my restaurant. I was unable to do that, but I absolutely love what he does. What he, what he's doing is, um, for free 99, he's giving these businesses a huge boost. He's pouring into these businesses. He's vesting into these businesses because he's going in there and he's purchasing their food. He's not going in there expecting a free meal. Um, like a lot of influencers, they go into these places and they go, they try to get a, you know, they get their meal free, get their meal comp. And that's great. But somebody who, um, who, has over 7 million, million followers. He purchases food. I've seen him give businesses money. I I've seen him, you know, invest in into these businesses. Like um, the girl from Juicy Jerk, he gave her like um, close to $3,000 when he was in Atlanta. And let me tell you, the videos, the on, on all the controversy that I saw about these Atlanta experiences. Oh my God, my girlfriend lives there, and she has lived there for over twenty years, and she's always would tell me about going to restaurants, and they were like two hour waits. Um, I'm not waiting two hours for food. I didn't wait two hours for free lunch <laughs> when. I got free lunch when I was a kid. It wasn't two hours. I wasn't uh, waiting two hours for one of those little brown bags of free lunch. Anyway, that's beside the point. I'm Again, I'm not waiting that long for any restaurant. I'm just not. And even here in New York where I am, there are um, restaurants, they, they probably have two-hour waits. But I don't know about them because I don't go there. I don't freak with them. You go on Red Lobster, Red Lobster in New York, you might wait maybe 40 minutes, but you're not going to be waiting two hours. But this whole controversy with Keith Lee, the, the part I didn't like was how they were threatening his family, how they were threatening the, the restaurants, leaving them one star ratings on Google and Yelp and tanking their businesses this basically um taking their reviews and taking their reviews down to one star that's not that's not good and and, 
and a lot of these people hasn't even they haven't even frequented the restaurant. They haven't even gone there. Only on the strength of Keith Lee are they doing this. Again, I absolutely love Keith Lee, what he's doing. I admire what he's doing. He's a very humble dude. You can see um, the humility in him in all his videos, each and every one of them. But what's happening is that people are taking his critiques as gospel. They're taking it for the Bible. They're taking it like... Um, they don't even go and try for them out for themselves. They don't go try these places for themselves. Keith Lee says it's he doesn't like it, then it's not good. And let me tell you something about food. Food is very subjective. Food is subjective. And just because one person doesn't like it does not make it trash. They people like what they like and they like the what they like the way that they like it period. Everybody's palate is different. Um, my palate, I've been eating, um, all different sorts of foods since I was a kid. My mom had six children and she was a caterer. She took us all out on dates to restaurants. So therefore we were always eating. Like we ate when she would cater we ate when she took us out on dates. So uh, my palate is different from everybody else's. Not to say my palate is, is better because I'm no authoritarian on food. It's no, I don't believe that there are no authoritarians on food. You may be a food expert. You might know where food, de where certain ingredients derive from. You might know where to source certain ingredients. You might know how to put things together. You may know what cheeses marry well together because every cheese don't marry well together. That's a whole other video. And I believe that there are no food authoritarians. People like what they like. Not even on Chopped. Like those shows, I hate those shows. Why? Because just because you don't like it does not mean it's not good. I don't care if you have 20, 30, 50 restaurants. That does not make you an authoritarian on food. That makes you a very good um, business person. That, that makes it you an expert in the restaurant industry. That makes you an expert in the food industry. That does not make you an authoritarian on food. You don't get to say, well, this is good. Take my word for it. No, everybody, again, food is subjective. People like what they like and they like the way they like it. But this whole Keith Lee controversy, I believe is going to have Atlanta restaurants rethinking how they operate. Because two hour waits are horrible. I, I don't think anybody should be paying for food and waiting two hours to pay for food. I'm waiting two hours to give you my money. I'm waiting two hours for you to give me food so I can give you my money. I that doesn't jive with me. I don't I don't subscribe to that. It's nothing in me that will ever subscribe to that. There's nothing in my being that will make me think that that's okay. As a consumer, also as a chef, I could not fathom and, and think that someone would come and patronize me and they have to wait two hours. Um, no. Mm-mm. And Keith Lee, he says, go try for yourself. But some people, they take what he says as the Bible, as the gospel. And they think that, oh, well, Keith Lee didn't like it. No way that I can like it. Unless you're serving spoil you food, burn food, I don't care. I'm going to try it. 
There are places that I've been that people raved about. Oh, this is, and when I've gone there, I'm like, what were you raving about? Like this, I didn't like this. Does it make it trash? I just didn't like it. And when I go to restaurants and when I go to places and when I order dishes, I go in with an open mind. I don't think about how I would love for it to taste. I just taste it and see if I like it. I don't have no expectations. I just go and I try it. My daughter and I, we, we go food shopping together all the time. And I like pears, like the Bartlett pears. My daughter doesn't like them because she doesn't like the texture. This texture of the skin, the graininess of, of the inside parts, the flesh part. She is too grainy for her. She doesn't like it. I love it. I love that texture. Like, I absolutely love and adore it. I just ate my last pair yesterday. I'm just like, I'm ready to go get some more because I love that texture. She doesn't like it. Does that make it bad? No, it makes it, I like it, she doesn't. That doesn't make me right and her wrong. It doesn't make her wrong and me right. But when I go and I try foods, I try to be as unbiased as I can. Even as a chef, I go in clean palate. I go in with an open mind. I don't think about, okay, I wonder if this is going to taste like my grandmother's. I, I wonder if this is going to taste like my mama's. I don't go with that kind of mindset because that will taint my perspective. And then I won't like it. I'm selective about where I go and eat. And I love to go out and eat. I absolutely love to go out and eat. I went to an Italian restaurant. Was it an Italian restaurant? Italian restaurant in City Island. Food was... Oh, I was raving about the food. When Google asked me, how was your visit? Baby, I went in. I talked about the server. He was, his name, I still remember his name. His name was Steve. Steve rolled out the red carpet for me and my, yeah. Anyway, we had a good time. And the food was amazing. And they gave us so much to go. It was, we had, I had so much food. I went home with a like a whole complete meal because... The anti-pasto um, plate that they gave, the bread, I ate so much of that and I had wine, but I did taste my food and the food was incredible. So yeah, I, um, I may think that it's incredible and the next person might be, uh, I'm not feeling this because I don't believe in saying something's trash. Unless it's actually trash, like somebody cooked something that was spoiled or rotten or it was burnt or old. But if something is good, then it's good. And if something you don't like doesn't mean it's bad. It's just that I don't like it. Okay, let me tell you. Last night. I had halal chicken over rice with the white sauce. I never had this dish ever. Okay, I, yeah, I live in New York, and most New Yorkers have tried this dish. I just was like, I wasn't, I'm not gung-ho. I don't just go out and do something and try it because everybody else is trying it. Right? Like my mother used to say, if your friends jump off the bridge, would you jump off the bridge too? No, I just, 
I had it. My uh, a friend of mine, he took me. We got we went to the halal spot and we got some chicken over rice with the white sauce. He raves about this place. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, so good. It's so good. It wasn't good to me. It was flavorless. It it was it was flavorless. The rice had a little bit of flavor. The meat was the sauce. I don't even know what kind of sauce this was because the sauce didn't taste like nothing. So I I I was like, is this what everybody's talking about? Chicken over rice with the white sauce. Everybody's talking about chicken over rice with the white. This is what y'all talking about. Now let me tell you this. Would I ever go and try it again? Absolutely not. Absolutely, I would. I would try it again, maybe at a different place. There are a lot of halal places. I would try it again because I see the potential in this dish. I see that if this dish was made with um, a little bit more fresh ingredients and I can see it being really something that would light my palate up like, woo, but... From this particular place, it was a no for me. But I noticed this has potential. But I tried again. Yeah, somewhere else I would absolutely go there and try it. But this had no flavor at all. So you can't take what Keith Lee is saying for the gospel. If for like it's the Bible. He's only a human being. He's a a, a very humble. And a very blessed individual, I would I'd say, nonetheless. But him getting death threat, death <laughs> threats, that that's that was horrible. That was a no. And the restaurants getting one stars from people who never even went there, only because of what Keith Lee said. That wasn't good. That wasn't nice. And I'm saying all this because. As a consumer, it don't make any sense to me. But as a business owner, it that sounds very scary and nightmarish. That someone could come into your place and because they don't like it, they telling a large amounts of people they didn't like it. That could possibly tank your business. And I know his intentions aren't to tank anybody's business. His business, his, his, what he does is he goes in and he gives these businesses boosts. He gives his honest opinion about the service and the food. So my opinion is because he don't like it, doesn't mean it's not good. Because he don't like it, doesn't mean it's trash. Go try it for yourself. And he says that. Go try it for yourself. You go try it. You might like it. Try it. And if you like it, challenge him and say, yo, bro, I really like this. This texture was great for me. I loved it. I like the flavors. I like the way that, and I like it. And I challenge him. We can all disagree, you know, agree to disagree. We don't have to agree on everything, but we can respectfully, respectfully give our opinion on something. We can respectfully challenge someone on theirs. We can respectfully come together and coexist in this world together. We are all black people. Let's, 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 let's not do this to one another don't 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 tear these businesses up and tear them down keith lee he's telling you to go try it for yourself try it you might like it <laughs>